Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more to the women, but it's also a video for men. The title of this is Why Women's Body Count, Why Her Sexual History Matters to Men. Now, you may be a man who has had a conversation in the past with women. Maybe you're a woman who's had conversations with their girlfriends, and this concept has come up in the past. I know it's on social media a lot. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos on this subject. I'm going to give you my perspective on why a woman's sexual history matters to a man and a man's sexual history doesn't really matter much to women. The first concept I need you to understand is a woman cares more about a man's future a man cares more about a woman's past. I'm going to use an analogy for women on shoes because you all fucking love shoes, okay? You go into the mall and you see an amazing pair of shoes that you just have to have. And those shoes are worth, you know, I'm going to say those shoes are $200. I don't know how much shoes cost for women. Maybe I'm being cheap. I don't know. They're $200 for these shoes. And they look amazing at you. You look sexy as fuck in those. You can't wait to go out and rock these new shoes. Perfect, great, boom. You buy the shoes. Two weeks later, you see the same exact shoes on sale for 50% off. What goes on in your mind when you see that? You're like, fuck, I'm going back to the store and try to get $100 back. It's the value, the perceived value that you placed on these shoes, that you were willing to pay $200 only to realize they're only worth about $100. You paid 100% more for these shoes than they're worth. Keep that in mind. Now... A guy starts dating a woman. He's putting in time, he's putting in effort, he's putting in affection, he's putting in money, provisioning. He's going out with you, he's listening to you, he is being present with you. And the dynamic for men and women goes like this. A man's biological wiring. We all want to have as much sex as possible with as limited time, effort, and money as possible. Women want men to invest in them. So women want a man to invest as much time, as much effort, and as much money. Once he does that, she gives him sex. That's the relationship. That's how it works. So when a man is investing in a woman, that's how a woman knows that he's a solid guy. He's not just looking just to have sex with me. Of course, he wants to have sex with you, but he's willing to put in this money. He's willing to put in this time. He's willing to listen to your bullshit stories. He's willing to do all of these things. He's willing to put in money. So he's willing to go into a relationship. Great. Perfect, I understand that, Jared, great. Same concept, he's putting in all of this money and then two weeks later, he finds out you fuck some guy in the back of the club who bought you one drink. Do you see what happens to a guy's value, the exchange? He put you here on this value exchange. He thought or thinks you're worth X when you just gave it up virtually for free to some other guy. So, the guy that you just gave it up to for a drink or whatever, our minds are she found him more sexually attractive and so she takes down all her walls. She doesn't care about the time invested. She didn't care about the money invested. She wanted to fuck this guy. So the value the guy thought this girl was just dropped like a stone. This is why a woman's sexual history matters to us. So when we are 
starting a relationship with a girl and we find out she banged 300 guys or 200 guys or fuck even 20 guys and she's 30 years old, that's high. Our value that we thought you were starts going down and we're starting to think, okay, out of all of these guys that she had sex with, what rules did she create with these guys that I'm having to jump through all these hoops just to get sex? This is how men think. We logically can compare that, all right, she just had sex with this guy in the club for basically free, his value must be really high. Maybe he's good looking, maybe he's a giga chad, who knows, but she gave it up to him with virtually none of the stuff I had to do. So that means his value, her sexual interest in this guy was so high, all of her walls came down and allowed this guy to have sex with her for basically a drink. You're over here investing time, effort, money, your resources to get the same thing, sex. Women, this is why when we ask about your sexual past, this is why we, we want to think we're putting our effort, our resources, our energy, our money into something that our value, our perceived value is X. When we realize it's Y, this is why we lose interest. I know personally for me, the girls I've dated in the past who I found had very high sexual um, body count, or body counts are very high, I basically just treated it as community property. I mean, at this point, I couldn't take them seriously. And so women, if you have a checkered past, if you have had free love and this feminist stuff of open sexuality and you've had a lot of men in your life and you're older and you're single with no kids and you're wondering why you can't find somebody, this is the reason why. Because it's going to come up on you, it's going to bite you in the ass. A couple of things women you can do is you all have this perceived value that your value's higher. And I'm not making a value judgment on this, but every woman wants like that top 10% guy. They want the guy they think in their mind that they deserve. But in reality, they can't have that guy because this guy has choice. And this guy understands a woman's body count definitely matters to him. So this guy is gonna look for a woman who doesn't have a lot of sexual partners, hasn't traveled the world on private jets and all this bullshit, and she's gonna look for a girl. She might not even be as good looking as this girl with the high body count, but that doesn't necessarily matter to him. He wants purity as best he can get. When a woman has a high body count, it is an impure. We think that's impure. You've given up your body to 10, 15, 20, 100, whatever the number is. And so for us, your value just dropped in our eyes. Now you might not care, ladies. You might say, oh, I don't care. I'm me. I'm gonna find somebody someday that's gonna accept me for me and my past should matter. That's great. Those are buzzwords you can keep saying all you want in your head. That's fine. You're allowed to have those thoughts, but the reality is, you're going to have to lower your standards drastically to find a guy who might be a little bit of beta. He might be a really good guy, but he might be a little bit boring. He might not be as good looking as you think you deserve in order to be okay with the fact that you've been ran through for the last 10, 15 years. There are men out there that will take you in, but they're not the type of men you think you deserve. But in reality, those are the men you deserve. Those are the men who are willing to take you and love you for who you are now, not for your past. And that's great. I, I give it to the, these guys that are willing to do that. They don't have enough value in themselves to realize that they can do better. So that's fine. Ladies, you just have to understand that that's going to be your reality. The only thing that you guys have is your purity, is your body. The only thing that you have 
of value that men want is sex. Everything else we can do. Now, I know I'm going to get fucking bullshit comments on this, but this is what men we want. We want sex. We want a woman who is as pure as possible, low body count. We want a woman to be of, of help to us. We don't want an equal. I mean, there's, for me, I don't want an equal. This is why early on when I'm dating a girl, I'm gonna find out about her past and I'm gonna listen to what she tells me about her past and I'm gonna size up her age and where she is in relation to her peers. So an example of this would be, if a woman's 32 and she's not married, she doesn't have kids and she tells me, I've traveled a lot, I've made some mistakes, I've partied, I've had my fun, but now I'm ready. Big sign that she's been ran through. She's probably been doing drugs. She's been living her best life. Now she's ready to settle down, okay? You have to understand that. When they say things like this, that means they have a checkered past. That means they've been ran through. Likewise, if you find a younger woman who is fairly innocent, yeah, maybe she's had a couple of sexual partners, but you know, you could kind of tell by her presence that she's still kind of interested. She's inquisitive. She's soft. She's yielding. She doesn't use these buzzwords like I'm an independent woman. I can do my own things, all this bullshit. <clears throat> this is what men look for. This is what men actually gravitate for because we're perceiving their value as something that's probably as close to what our perception is. Again, if we realize the same girl has a hundred guys and she's 25 years old and she's been with a hundred guys, she's community property. Like there's, there's no value there. Like everybody has a key to open her up. We want the, we want to find a girl who very few keys have opened her. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe. There's a lot of you guys watching this that just aren't subscribed yet. If you want to tell me to F off or leave a comment, I definitely appreciate it. Hit the bell icon so that you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, have a great day. Talk soon.